Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I am doing something that I wanted to do in my vlog when we went to Ireland and Worldcon. Um, I will link that below, although I give fair warning, it is almost two hours long, so watch at your own, I don't know, free time risk. Um, but what I wanted to do was do some shout outs to some of the booktubers that we met at Worldcon. We had such an amazing time at Worldcon and the community there was definitely the best part of it. We met so many amazing people, some of whom Sush and I have been watching for months or years, but some of whom were completely new to us. So I wanna talk about each of the people that we met. Um, I'm probably missing a couple of people. I am using a list that Rachel at Kalanati put together of the booktubers um, that went to Worldcon, but I'm pretty sure we met a lot of other people as well. I'm not sure if they don't have booktube channels, um, but if you were there and you met me, please let me know um, in the comments down below so that I can make sure to check out your channel as well. So going in alphabetical order by channel name, the first person is Elizabeth at Books and Pieces. Um, if you're in the booktube SFF community, you probably already know Elizabeth, uh, although I didn't really. My first exposure to Elizabeth was that she was one of the people who ran the booktube SFF awards. And I don't know how I missed her channel because it's really big. Not just it's really big, but it, I mean, it's really big. She was one of the people who was long listed for the fan cast category at the Hugo Awards this year. So in person, I met her and she was so much fun. She's like really lively and excited. And not just that, but has amazing fashion sense. She had some of the coolest outfits. She had these skull tights, which I think all of us were deeply envious of. But I think that there's also just so much to check out on her channel. She clearly has a strong SFF focus and a lot of interesting things to say. So I will definitely be checking out her videos and getting more info about what she reads soon. Next is Brie from Brie Reads Books. Brie is somebody whose channel I have been following and she has such a great way of looking at her reading. She has a really political and feminist um, lens through which she reads and analyzes books. She has some really amazing content on her channel talking about a lot of things within the book community and within books that looks at the politics and the social justice and the feminist issues. Not just that, but she was on quite a few panels at World con where she talked about these things and I always found what she had to say incredibly insightful and I also found that she does such a good job of calling in versus calling out just making sure that everybody's included and just within the group she was always so inclusive and always um, very welcoming and friendly and just very kind so I think you should definitely check out Bree's channel if you haven't already and I know that I'm really excited to see what other content she puts out. Another person who was on quite a few panels at Worldcon is Claire from Claire Rousseau. Claire uh, was on the booktube SFF panel as well as quite a few other panels. And in general, she's very involved in the SFF community. Um, if you have watched her channel, you'll know she has a series of videos that she does talking about news in SFF. And I know that she's also very into like fan fiction. So Claire definitely has her hand on the pulse of the SFF community and she's a good person to watch if you wanna know what's going on as well. Next is Elena from Elena Reads Books. Uh, I think Elena and I only briefly crossed paths like once or twice at Worldcon. I don't even think I said hello to her, but I do know that she was one of the judges for the Booktube SFF Awards. Um, I've checked out her channel and it looks like she has such varied reading tastes. So I always love people who read a wide variety of things because that always exposes me to books I never would have heard of otherwise. So I'm really intrigued to see what she's got up on her channel. Next is Joe at Final Blow Joe. Joe's channel is definitely so good. Sush and I love watching Joe's channel because not only does Joe read a ton of books in SFF, he has like such a fast reading pace, but he always talks about them in such an interesting way and he is so funny. He's got this very 
um, understated, subtle sense of humor that really works for me and Sush. We always end up laughing when we watch his videos. And in person, he is just the nicest, just most calming presence, such a great person to hang out with. So Sush and I absolutely love Joe, and I very, very much want to do a buddy read with Joe because I want to hear his thoughts, and especially his very, um, you know, humorous way of looking at things uh, when I'm reading a book. So sometime in the future, hopefully Joe and I will do a buddy read. Next is Aoife at Fred Weasley Died Laughing. Aoife is Irish and at Worldscon it was great because she helped us like choose lunch one day. She knew what was going on. Um, I didn't have as much time to spend with Aoife, but I'm really intrigued by her channel because it looks like she's got a feminist bent. And basically, if you have a feminist bent to your channel, I'm pretty interested because I really want to make sure that I'm reading through that lens and I want to be exposed to more books that um, are interesting from a feminist perspective. So not only SFF, but also feminism, you've got my vote. So I totally want to check out more of her videos. Next is Andrea at Infinite Text. If you have seen Andrea's channel, you'll know that she is an absolutely fascinating reader. Not only is she incredibly intelligent and incredibly passionate about just learning about new things, but she has such an intense way of reading where she'll get interested in a topic and just completely completely go down that rabbit hole, tracking down all sorts of books on it. And she has very eclectic tastes and very niche things that she gets interested in. So her videos are always incredibly fascinating to watch and just really exposes me to tons of new ideas and just so many cool thoughts. Uh, she also really likes um, things that are a little bit macabre or death oriented. So she has like a whole series on death practices and death books that is fascinating. And I absolutely love her channel, but what I didn't realize before meeting her was just how funny she is. Andrea is hilarious. I think that I could not stop laughing when I was with her because she really, really works for my sense of humor. She kind of likes um, a little bit of the dark humor and a little bit of the, you know, um, poking at people type of humor. So she was so much fun to hang out with and we could not get enough of each other. So we're planning to do a buddy reading in September and I'm just super excited about it. Next is Rachel from Colonati, and Rachel is another huge figure in the BookTube SFF community. Not only was she one of the judges for the BookTube SFF Awards, but she was long listed for the Hugo Awards for FanCast. Um, she is such a voracious reader of especially science fiction, especially women authors, especially translated works. She reads both a ton of new releases and a bunch of back catalog works. If I think of somebody who is just super knowledgeable about science fiction, I think of Rachel. And some of the books that she reads just makes me so curious to go and explore those topics. So I think she is very much an influential booktuber and reader. Um, but in addition to that, she's also just an influential person. Um, she was pretty much one of the first booktubers that I ever started watching. And not just that, but she was the one who invited me to join the uh, group of booktubers at Worldcon. So she very much is building that community. I think that Rachel kind of acts a little bit like a guiding star for a lot of us at Worldcon, where you know she was the one who would take charge and plan things and say, hey, this panel is really interesting. Hey, we should make sure that we go check out the art exhibit. Hey, we should make sure that we do some of the tourist events in Dublin. I mean, she put together so much much of the Worldcon experience and was just a real leader. So I not only enjoy watching her channel for everything she has to say about books, as well as like crocheting and gardening and all of her other interests, but I just really adore that she is such a great person and a community leader and somebody who's just really fun to hang out with. Next is Caitlin at Kitty G. Caitlin is somebody who I saw multiple times at Worldcon, but I was always seated like on the opposite side of tables from her, so I never even talked to her um, other than to maybe say hello and introduce myself. But I am really intrigued by her channel. It looks like she does a bunch of SFF and she's got a huge back catalog of videos. I think she's been on booktube for like five years, something like that. So I'm really excited to check her out. And I know she's got a vlog as well. 
or a couple of vlogs for Worldcon. So if you guys haven't seen her, check her out too. Next are John and Bex at Night Hunter Books. So just like Rachel, John and Bex have been really influential for me and Sush. Um, both of them, uh, John and Bex as well as Rachel, had videos about Worldcon last year, which was what made me and Sush be interested in attending Worldcon this year. Um, John and Bex have such a great channel because they do it as a couple. So all of their videos are them together discussing the books that they have read. And this again was hugely influential when creating my channel. Um, I had originally asked Sush like, hey, do you want to do that too? He said, no, he's a little camera shy. But because we like their videos so much, Sush agreed to be in some videos for me. And in particular, um, John and Bex had done some videos discussing the Hugo finalists last year that we'd really, really enjoyed. And so we did that this year because we liked their videos so much. And if you haven't checked them out, um, I will link below some of the videos they did discussing the Hugo finalists this year. I just really love the way that they talk about books. I love their partner. They are such a really fascinating pair. They're both very, um, very much in the STEM uh, area, but they love fantasy and sci-fi and they just have such a unique and interesting perspective on everything. I'm always interested in hearing what they have to say. Next is Maya at Maya Reads. And when I think of Maya, I think Gothic. Maya has just this incredible aesthetic to her herself as well as to what she reads. She loves the kind of dark and mysterious and gothic and horror based and um, she loves beautiful things as well. She loves classics and she loves graphic works and I just absolutely adore hearing her talk about things, as does Sush. So Sush is really big into Scandinavian horror, so he gets a ton of ideas from what Maya reads. And then I'm really into classics, and so every time I hear Maya talking about another classic, I just want to go out and get that book and read it. So we really, really love Maya's channel, and it was so cool to meet her while we were at Worldcon as well. Next is Paul at Paul Weymouth, and I am so happy that Paul's hiatus on booktube has ended and he is now back and making videos because he just speaks to my heart. Uh, Paul is such a joyful and positive person who all he wants to do is just explore and grow and learn, and I love that passion he has for personal growth. Um, at Worldcon, we had the best time with Paul. We went to museums with him and just hung out with him and going to panels. And he always is so thoughtful and so kind and so caring and just positive. So he's such a cool person to be around. Also, he did so much in Ireland while the rest of us were off doing other things. I mean, I think he went to something like 10 different places in Ireland and just saw so much. So constantly I was like, wow, Paul, you're so cool. You're doing all of these neat things. And when I watch his channel, I feel the same thing. It's not just that he reads voraciously so much science fiction and fantasy and all these cool genres, but he reads a ton of like um, psychology and personal growth and self-help books and is just constantly uh, reflecting on his life and reflecting on his goals and what he wants to accomplish and how he can become a better person. And that's a real role model for me because I absolutely also love that sort of approach um, and he's so systematic about it. So I really enjoy watching his videos where he talks about his goals for each month, talks about the books that have influenced him, and I just want to go and read all of them. Next is Linnea from Robot Maria Reviews. And Linnea is another person that I think I said hello to once and barely got a chance to speak to, but she was also on the Booktube SFF panel at Worldcon, so I did hear a little bit of what she has to say. Um, and I checked out her channel and it looks really cool. She looks like she reads a lot of science fiction and especially a lot of maybe older or more obscure science fiction. She just seems very, very passionate about that genre and I really want to read um, some of the books that she's talked about and check out more of her videos to see what else she picks up. 
Next is Thomas at SFF 180. And again, Thomas is a huge figure in the booktube SFF community. He not only was on the booktube SFF panel and was part of the booktube SFF awards, but he is doing a lot of really cool things with his channel. So in general, he has a ton of great things like reviews and mailbag Mondays, where he talks about um, all of the new releases that he's getting in the mail, which are a ton. There's no way I could ever, you know, keep up with that kind of uh, influx of books. Um, but he also is running Space Opera September. So that's a readathon that's going on in September. I have a TBR out for it, which I will link below. And he is just a really influential, important character in the booktube SFF community. But beyond that, he's also just the coolest guy. Um, we hung out with him, we went to museums with him, and went sightseeing with him. And just, I think that Thomas is just so fun. He has such a love of history and culture and reading, and he was always so interesting to talk to, as well as just being really playful. Um, I totally had such a great time with Thomas, and I'm really looking forward to future world cons, especially um, if we all end up going to DC. I want to go to museums with Thomas because he's such a great museum buddy. So um, I love Thomas's channel. I had such a great time with him. You should definitely check him out if you don't already know him. Next is Rhea at the Bookfinch. And Rhea to me is like the heart and soul of the booktube community. She is so warm and welcoming and friendly. And when we were at Worldcon, she was the one who kind of made everybody feel at home. She was constantly connecting with everybody. And just you felt like you were best friends with Rhea forever. Um, not only is Rhea just such a cool person, but she's also just so creative. Um, she has amazing skills when it comes to design. She does designed the uh, booktube SFF uh, ribbons that we had for Worldcon. She made her own bookmarks that she was handing out. She made really cool pins um, that were for the people that she was rooming with at Worldcon. And just in general, she has amazing art uh, capabilities and just style. She also reads a lot of graphic works, which makes sense. And she's got great recommendation videos that I really like. Um, I'll link below the ones that she did for the Harry Potter house uh, manga recommendations. And and she also did a video about a uh, animated series that I really, really liked about a skull-faced um, bookseller that was really, really fun. So I'll link those below. Uh, in addition to that, I think that Rhea has great things to say on her channel about the books she reads. She also reads with a very critical lens and thinks very carefully about the books and the themes and the perspectives. And right now I'm actually doing a buddy read with her and it is thoroughly enjoyable because she has so many insights into what we're reading, things that I just completely missed. And it's absolutely fascinating and so great to have that kind of deepening of a read through discussing it with her. So she's an excellent channel. Please do check her out if you haven't already. And lastly is Kelsey at the Fancy Hat Lady Reads. Uh, Kelsey is another person who has an amazing aesthetic. Kelsey is all about the fairy and folk and fantasy tales. And she not only just has that aesthetic to her and she has like these great fancy hats that she wears every time she booktubes, which I love because I love hats. Um, but she does such amazing reading within that genre. She reads tons of new releases, as well as reads lots and lots of back catalog things in these genres that I've never heard of before and I'm so intrigued by. Uh, not only does she read so widely within these genres, but she also does videos where she goes quite in depth talking about the books, talking about her thoughts. And it's really worthwhile to listen to all of her thoughts on these and just such a great channel to listen to. So those are all the booktubers that we met up with while we were at Worldcon. I also wanted to mention two other people who aren't really booktubers. The first is Meeve, uh, also known as Bookish Meanderings. She comments on a lot of videos. I don't think she makes her own, but she is active on Goodreads, so I will link that below. And uh, we talked a little bit on Goodreads, and she came up and said hello while we were at Worldcon, and that was a real joy. So thank you, Meeve, for saying hello. Uh, also, Adam Wing, who is a friend of mine that is an author, um, and we've known each other for many, many years, and it was really exciting to get to hang out at Worldcon. I did an interview of him, which I will post later this week, um, and I will link his stuff below, some of the books that he's written, some of uh, his 
like blog writings, things like that. Uh, but in general, we just had such a great time at Worldcon and the people that we saw there, that we met, really made the experience so much richer, so much more fun. So thank you to everyone that we met for being so welcoming and so kind. And for everybody who didn't make it to Worldcon, please do check out everybody's videos because they are amazing people.